charity set up by families bereaved by gambling-related suicides has launched a pilot education programme in Northern Ireland to warn young people about the potential risks of addiction. The group Gambling With Lives says the initiative is needed because of a lack of information and help. Turn 10p into 10 squids, isn't it? You're going to love this place, man. It's easy money. A film highlighting the addictive nature of gambling and its potentially destructive consequences will be shown in secondary schools across Northern Ireland during this academic year. The aim is to educate and warn young people about the risks involved. The charity behind the initiative, Gambling With Lives, says a lack of information and help is leading to lives being lost every year. Lewis Keogh's parents only found out about his addiction in his suicide note after the 34-year-old took his own life eight years ago. And he obviously wasn't aware of the risk to life from gambling. And it starts small and it just escalates until there's no turning back well for some people. The couple would eventually like to see this educational programme extended to schools south of the border. Gambling doesn't stop at Bell or any of the border towns, you know, it's all over Ireland, so it's one small island and we feel that this programme should be available everywhere on it. The parents of Jack Ritchie, seen here with his sisters, knew he had a gambling problem from a young age, but thought he'd overcome it when he moved to Vietnam to teach English. The 24-year-old took his own life four years ago. He thought and we thought that he'd beaten okay. the addiction. Yeah. Um, and he hadn't. And I think that that's the nature of the addiction. It came back and it wasn't about losing large amounts of money. It was him thinking that he could never be free from this. The education program will run as a pilot scheme in 20 schools. The aim is to roll it out in all schools in Northern Ireland, as well as sports clubs and community organisations from late next year. Vincent Kearney, RT News, Belfast.